hi there in this uh, video we'll learn about the homothetic function which is a certain category of the functions that we study in uh, mathematics and definitely in economics let us see that how this uh, kind of functions is understood primarily we'll do the etymology of it and it's basically an ancient Greek word and there are two words that combine to make this homo means same and thesis means setting placement or arrangement so it means that in this kind of functions we will be having same kind of placement or arrangement or setting of a certain uh, function and in function definitely we know that there is a curve or there is a certain line it is attributed to Shefford 1953 and when it comes to the diagram of the homothetic functions they generate radial expansions it means that we will have the same sort of curves but they will be expanded as um, there is a cer certain radius and they are following the same center point to give um, the same sort of uh, um, formation but with a expansionary pattern you can already guess that how this is happening because this is a radial expansion that is b and c is the further radial expansion so you see that this is the pattern of a homothetic function we can guess it by looking at the diagram of it and another important feature of this uh, expansion would be that it is preserving the angles and the ratios of the distances so if we consider the various angles that we have if you look at this the angle is the same as we have here and if we join this line with the x-axis it will also have a similar sort of angle so this angle this angle and this potential angle will be the same so it is preserving this angle and also the ratio of distances you can already see that the distance is having a similar sort of pattern and this is 6 this is 4 and this is 2 so there is also a certain pattern in this case so when we have such a formation we can say that the similar setting is happening and this is what homothetic uh, lexically means that the pattern is retained their setting definitely looks like the same and it seems as if there are waves that are being generated at the same pattern now let us do this mathematically let us consider that we have a production function and there are two inputs that is input a and b and if we do the monotonic transformation of this this is the monotonic transformation from a to b and from b to c because uh, mono means one and tone means a certain uh, method or rhythm and you can see that this is uh, monotonic in the sense that it is retaining the angles and the other pattern of pertaining to the distance so this is if if we do this mathematically we will have another function because this function is uh, not the same as this function is maybe uh, a similar pattern will exist but definitely we can call it another function for example h so monotic monotonically transforming this function that is q function will become this that a new function h has been generated and it depends upon the original function so h is the monotonic transformation of q function now homogeneity may disappear uh, for example if the original function was a plus b and if we do the monotonic transformation of q it will become h that is h of q a b but and here you can see that a plus b plus 3 is the addition so this plus 3 is showing the monotonic transformation and here you see that for example plus 3 has brought this function to this place now if you look at this it is uh, homogeneous because we can introduce lambda in a and b both and then factor it out but if we introduce lambda here and here uh, it will not be completely factored out because we have 3 here 
so monotonic transformation or any function which is um, homothetic may not be homogeneous as well so every function which is homothetic is not necessarily homogeneous but a homogeneous function has the ability to become homothetic as we have already seen that this homogeneous function was transformed into homothetic function so uh, the degree of homogeneity was 1 before as we saw here but afterwards this homothetic function or monotonically transformed function does not remain homogeneous anymore you can pause the video and check the homogeneity by introducing lambda as the scalar and it also shows that h will depend upon the original function that is q that is the homothetic function or monotonically transformed function h will be dependent upon q and you can see this that this function depends upon this function that is the original function as it retains the angles and the ratios so this means that if we take the derivative of the monotonically transformed function with respect to q it will not give us an answer equal to zero because if the answer of the derivative is equal to zero it means that there is no relationship between this dependent variable and this independent variable so this will not be equal to zero because there is dependence of the monotonically transformed function on the original function so let's try to verify this we have this uh, monotonically transformed function and this is the original function and the expansion path of the homothetic function will be as the expansion path of the original function because it is retaining the patterns so it is natural to uh, retain the pattern of the original function in terms of its expansion path as observed in the diagram slope of the isoquant will remain the same so the slope should remain the same and here you can see the slope is remaining the same in the process of monotonically transforming the function so MRTS is basically the slope and here we can check the slopes of the two functions that is the monotonically transformed function and the original function so here we have the monotonically transformed function and it is h a b so the slope will be equal to the ratio of their marginal products that is h a and h b by h a we mean the derivative of this function with respect to a by h b we mean the derivative of this function with respect to b further we know that this function is equal to that function so you can see that um, in place of h a b we have written h q a b because uh, it is the monotonically transformed version of the original function that is q so now we take the derivatives as per the symbol that is in respect to a and with respect to b here we have applied the chain rule you can recall the concept of chain rule that here a affects q and then q affects h so this is how it is applied while b remains the constant and here again a remains constant b affects q and q affects h here in the denominator we have done this and cancellation will give us this expression further exp uh, cancellation will happen and finally we will get this answer so you see that this is the slope of the monotonically transformed uh, function and it is equal to this and then we have uh, the other slope that we have to find that is of the original function and in this case again we will have the um, ratio of the marginal products with a negative sign and you can see that we have taken the derivatives as per the guideline that is with respect to a and with respect to b so once we do this uh, we know that it will be 
you're taking b as a constant here and a as a constant there and definitely it will be uh, equal to delta q over delta a because this is the dependent variable and this is the independent variable again we can write it like this for the denominator where a is the constant and b is the variable and then we can cancel out the delta q on both sides um, in the numerator and the denominator and after we do this we will get this expression when we look at this expression this is the slope of the original function and it is equal to the slope of the monotonically transformed function so it means that the a monotonic transformation has happened in its true spirit that the slope has been conserved and it has not changed so this is how it is monotonic uh, function its slope and the slope of the original function they are equal to each other and this is something that we wanted to prove that the very definition and the nature of the homothetic functions that is the monotonically transformed version of the original function is being fulfilled here and we have done this mathematically as well after understanding it in the diagram that we can see here in real life it is evident that if there is a shift in the isocos line for example in this case the ability to produce will be there and they will use this ability and there will be equal uh, increase in the output on x-axis and on the y-axis it means that there is no inclination towards uh, the first good or the second good instead the same ratio of the output is uh, pro being produced with the help of the inputs so this is how the same setting will be retained that in the process of expansion the pattern that is the ratio will be reserved so this is how the homothetic functions they are meaningful for a producer and it can also be meaningful for a consumer who is concerned about the utility he draws from a certain couple of goods and if his income increases by a certain proportion if he retains the same proportion of the goods then he is having homothetic utility functions these are a few economic applications of uh, homothetic functions thank you